Hey everybody. All right. So today we've got a little bit of a shorter video because what we are talking about is pretty straightforward and that is naps. Now, a nap is like when you go to bed, but only for like 30 minutes to an hour. Um, but in this context, a nap with a K is the sound that is made when somebody hits somebody else. Now, that sound in a real fight is made by hands hitting an area that should not be hit. Uh, but when we are doing stage combat, we've got to figure out a way to make that sound without actually hitting another person. And this is especially important if we are doing this by ourselves. So um, the most simple way is one that you've all probably seen or maybe even done where like you reach up to slap somebody and you put your hand up and <laughs> high five yourself. That's fine, but the problem with it is that it's not super subtle, right? If we're watching something happen on stage and somebody goes to smack someone else and we see them raise their hand, we're gonna know that they're hitting their hand and not hitting the other person. So what normally happens with naps is the victim makes the sound. So if I'm getting smacked in the face, I might go, oh, right? Or something like that because that sound is still being made, but it's easier for me to make that hit down low than it is for the person doing the hitting to find a way to high five themselves, right? This is very obvious. That's nice and subtle. And that's what we want. We want something that is subtle that doesn't draw away from the illusion of the fight itself. So as you are recording your videos, what I want you to think about is making these naps yourself. How can you make that sound of the impact? And then on top of that, how will you react bodily to that sound? In general, whenever a person is hit, the closer to their torso it is, the lower the sound is. If you get hit in the stomach, it's gonna be more of a ooh, because it's all the air being forced out of your lungs. But if you're being hit in the face, it's gonna be more like a ah, because it's very far away from your stomach, relatively speaking, and therefore the sound goes up. It's higher pitched. If you stub your toe, you go, ah, not Oof, because it's literally as far away from my stomach as I can get on my body. And because of that, that sound is high, higher pitched. No air is escaping. I'm just responding to that impact, that little ouch moment, right? So that's what you need to think about as you are recording. You need to think about, do I want to make naps? If so, how do I do them? And then also, where am I getting hit and how does that change the sound? If I'm getting hit in the face, am I going, ooh? Or if I get hit in the gut, am I going, ah? Those don't make sense. So think about where you're getting hit and how that will change the sound you make. Uh, have fun recording yourself and I will see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.